Hi everyone, my name's Scott. Welcome to Planes, Trains, Everything and welcome to something you've never seen on YouTube before. I know I say that from time to time, but it's true. I like to think of myself as the initiator, not the impersonator. Did you like that? I made that up. Here is a pack of cards which I bought from eBay. Scottish souvenir cards from the early 1960s. And this, I thought, was a brilliant idea. This pack of cards has unique pictures on each card of somewhere in Scotland. Absolutely brilliant. And I thought, how about picking three at random, seeing if it's possible to see, uh, visit all three in one day, get back to Glasgow without being stranded, and most importantly, try and find the location where these pictures were taken 60 years after the event. What a brilliant idea. Well, it was a good idea at the time until I really thought about this. It wasn't going to work, and I'll show you why. Let's just shuffle these a little bit. I'm going to pick three at random. I'm going to pick that one, that one, and that one. Now keep in mind I was going to try and visit these locations by public transport as well. There's a challenge for you. Right, we've got Inverness Castle. We've got Tobermory. And the Royal Highland Gathering Braemar. Now trying to get the, to those three places by car would be hard enough. By public transport, it's virtually impossible. So I had to think, this is still a good idea. What can I do about this? And then it came to me. I thought geographically and very loosely East Central Scotland and there are seven locations which I can visit and I think these are doable in one day. Now some of these locations I've never been to, one of them I've never heard of so this could be interesting. One thing you're guaranteed to see on this video, loads of Scottish scenery, buses, trains, the whole whammy. Tomorrow we start bright and early from Glasgow Bank Buchanan bus station and we are going to go to Dunfermline Abbey. Now to be honest, I've never been to Dunfermline before. I've never had a reason to go to Dunfermline until now. This is one of seven tasks I've given myself today. I'm going to be a busy boy so I better get moving. Nine twenty-five, and I'm in Dunfermline. With all of these tasks, I've actually done some research overnight just to save time when I arrived. I've got a rough idea of where I'm going. Let's find this abbey. So like all of these tasks, I did a little bit of research online last night on Google Street View and I think I know the location of the photograph being taken 60 years ago. It's really just to save a bit of time because uh, that is primarily why I'm here. And I think this photograph was taken just around the corner here. I hate to say this, but Dunfermline Abbey might just be a little bit better than Paisley Abbey. Not by much, mind you, but yeah, slightly more interesting. They don't have gargoyles, unlike Paisley Abbey. Right now, this photograph was taken around about here somewhere. Right, it's around about here, I think. I think that will do. Each of these tasks has had its own challenge and uh, the next one I looked on Google Street View and I found the exact location and it was freaky looking at that 60 years after the event. You'll see what I mean when we get there. Firstly we have to get to Dunfermline City Railway Station.
This is Dunfermline City Railway Station. Okay, we're going to Dalmeny and there will be a clue along the way as to what we're looking for. Keep an eye open for it. I've been here once in my life before, and it must have been about six years ago. Uh, and funnily enough, I ended up in the very, very same location that I'm heading now, more or less, but for a very different reason. Right, this is Dalmeny. Um, I'm just kind of trying to retrace my steps here. You can't really get lost. As long as you keep heading in this direction, you'll hit the water. And we should be there in about five minutes. In case you haven't guessed it yet, that's what we're looking for. Now, what would you call that bridge? What's its name? If you called it the fourth rail bridge, you're wrong. It's actually the fourth bridge because it was the first of three crossings over the fourth, which is kind of confusing, but there you go, fourth bridge. All we have to do now is find the location. That's around here somewhere. It's low tide definitely smells like low tide and the location is just along here because I'm using a light at the end of the former slip which is used by the ferries before the, uh, the the road bridge was built I'm using it as a marker and I think we're just about there I think we've just about got it It's a beautiful, glorious day today. Typical Scottish autumn weather. But uh, I've got five more tasks to fulfill and I'm trying to think how I get out of here now. Because I've got a train to catch. Ah. Here's a train crossing the bridge. never get tired of that, absolutely not. Right, Dalmeny Station. The next task is probably the messiest of the lot. It takes three forms of transport to get there, but it's not really that far away from Edinburgh. Um, and there's one train every hour, and it leaves at around about 40 minutes past the hour. It is 10 minutes to 11 now, yeah, I think I should be able to catch this train, get into Waverley, catch this train and cross the third one off my list. It's just gone 11 o'clock. The next train into Edinburgh is at 11.22. Uh, 15 minutes, we might still make it. If it's not passing trains, it's usually station announcements. Yeah, so I think we've still got enough time to catch the train at around about 11.40. Wish me luck. What you think? That 
train was absolutely packed. Absolutely packed. Okay, I've just checked the train times. I have got 45 minutes to wait now. So what I'm going to do is try and cross a couple of the Edinburgh uh, cards off my list. And the first one is just off the Royal Mail. Can you guess what it might be? The people of Edinburgh must be the fittest people in Scotland with all these stairs. Here we are, the Royal Mail. I'm looking for a big building just at the end of the road here. Jeez oh, Edinburgh's absolutely mobbed today. Not far to go now. Okay, this is my next card. It is pictured during the military tattoo. The military tattoo is over for this year. Well, let's see if we can get into the castle grounds. I reckon this is pretty close. I estimate there's about 250 people waiting to get into the Edinburgh Castle at the moment. All with tickets. Nuts. Right, let's get down to Princess Street. We've still got 35 minutes. And this is Edinburgh after the Fringe Festival has finished. Oh, you don't want to come to Edinburgh in August, that's for sure. And today's only, I think, the 2nd of September. Crazy. Things are a little more sensible further down the Royal Mile, but up by the castle is completely nuts. Right. How can I save myself some time here and get another one of these pitches under my belt? Let's try it. 30 minutes before my train to North Berwick and we are killing this. I believe there's another one of my tasks just down here. And here we are. Living on the west coast of Scotland, I didn't even know this existed. Well, yeah, this is a Scottish-American war memorial. It dates from the First World War, but I'm thinking in the early 60s. The Second World War was only just 20 years away. It was still in the backs of many people's minds, and that's why it was significant in the 1960s. This is probably one of the easier tasks I've given myself. And the next task is on the way back to Waverley Station. Okie dokie, the next task is between the West Princess Street Gardens, I think that's what they're called here, and Waverley Station. What do you reckon it could be? And here we are, the Scott Monument. I'll just have to inch my way closer to work out the exact location. I think this is about as close as I'm going to get because directly behind me there's a little kiosk that sells fish and chips and ice cream. So I think this is a pass. Here's an observation. I noticed this many, many years ago when I was really keen on photography, but of course now it's YouTube. But when you stop to take a picture, other people join you because they assume, oh, look at the fancy equipment he's got. He must know the right locations for the best photos. So I had a woman standing there right next to me and I said, here's a card from the 1960s. She couldn't believe I was doing this. Maybe she thought I was crazy or maybe she thought it was a great idea. If you think it's a great idea, give me a thumbs up. Right, we have to get to Waverley Station Right, we've got uh, 12 minutes. 
What could possibly go wrong? Yeah, this is gonna work. 10 minutes. All I have to do is go down this ramp and find my platform. I hope so anyway, otherwise it's another hour for the next train. Nah, I'll be catching this one. Platform four for North Berwick. But I'm not going to North Berwick. Two more challenges left. And when it comes to logistics, they're the hardest ones. This one, it can be done, but boy, I'm gonna to have to do some scrambling, I think. And the other one was a bit misleading. It took me ages to find out where this was actually taken from, not where it says on the card. I'm really impressed I was able to bang out those three Edinburgh tasks in 40 minutes. That's gonna save me some time on the way back from North Berry, lunchtime. Oh. Okay, the problem is at North Berwick. This train's due to arrive at 13.13. Connecting coach leaves at 13.15 from the town centre. If you've ever been to North Berwick, you'll know the train station isn't in the town centre. It's a good five minute walk, so I think I've missed that bus. Next bus is in one and a half hours. I never miss buses and things by just 15, 20 minutes. It's always like nanoseconds. So instead of waiting an hour and a half, I'm gonna to walk to the destination. It should take me about 45 minutes. I managed to find a timetable for Eve's coaches online and although they do have a bus stop at the station, the particular service I'm looking for isn't serviced at the station. So having missed the, uh, the bus I wanted to catch by just barely a couple of minutes from the town centre, I've got a 45 minute walk ahead of me, but it's gonna get done and it's a nice day. There are some absolutely beautiful houses here in North Berwick. Did you see the clue back there? No cheating, no going back again. If you spotted it, well done. If you didn't, don't worry, we'll be there in around about 20 minutes. Our destination is just up there about, I don't know, just under a mile. And there is Bass Rock. I was in North Berwick a few years ago and I was shooting a video for this very fine channel and I noticed you could do a cruise, maybe an hour or two, out to Bass Rock. You can't actually land on Bass Rock because it's a nature reserve. But I thought, oh, I'd love to do that. Then I saw the price and I think it was 35 pounds and I thought, I don't want to do that. But one day, one day I shall come back and I really need to do a Bass Rock cruise because it is on my bucket list. Just for the record, Bass Rock is not on my playing card. Thank goodness, that would have been a real tough one. But this place up here is. And yes, here we are. I don't know if it's pronounced Tantalan Castle or Tantalan Castle, but either way we're here. And there's the picture I have to replicate. So the good news is we made it. It was a five kilometer, three mile walk, it wasn't too bad. The bad news, there's an entry fee. The good news is it's £3.50 or something, about half price, because some of the areas are actually off limits at the moment due to restoration work. Uh, good news is I don't need full access to the whole place, just one of the fields. Bad news is I don't think this was actually taken from the grounds of the castle. I think it was actually taken from an adjacent field. But I know roughly where I have to jump over a fence or a, a stone wall. So let's pay our fee and get inside. The woman in the ticket office said it was Tant Allen. Tant Allen. Right, so let's go exploring. Yes. 
as if she'd been tipped off as well, she told me I have to keep to the paths. Mm. Mind you, I've just saw some people over in the adjacent field I was talking about, so it is accessible. I just have to find out how, because that's where the photo was taken. I've got a feeling my photo was taken from up there somewhere, which means I'm going to have to negotiate that somehow. This is actually very, very pretty. Just a reminder, I am here primarily to try and find where that card was photographed from 60 years ago. But as I've come all this way, I may as well explore the castle as well. What do you think? Yeah. And that's probably why the entry fee is reduced by 50%. Right, let's go in here. I could spend a lot more time here, but I'm on a mission. I have to find where that photograph was taken 60 years ago. The castle will be here next time, and I will return. Right. After a fairly undignified scramble, I managed to get across that little gully, and we're now gonna try and find out where this photograph was taken in the early 1960s. And I don't think I'm the first person to have been here. There's a definite track of some sort here. This was a good idea at the time. Loads of thistles and nettles and other nasty stinging things. But I think we're nearly there. I hope this is the place. And again, so lords, I think I've actually found it. That looks like the same place, doesn't it? I think that's a pass. Okay, time to get back to North Berwick, catch that train to Edinburgh Waverley, and then How else did I get in here? It must have been up here, sorry. Time to catch that train back to Edinburgh Waverley. Then we have to catch a bus because uh, the seventh task really had me confused. I could not for the life of me work out where this had been photographed 60 years ago until I realized there was a slight, slight error in the description of the photograph. Whoa, this is pretty dangerous. Let's get out of here. Walking along with a GoPro through waist high grass and you can't see what's ahead of you is not a good thing. Right, away goes the GoPro. Well, I've just missed the bus back to North Berwick by about 10 minutes, uh, but it's walkable, so that's not a problem. The thing is, the next train, keeping in mind they're early, the next train back to Ev Edinburgh Waverley is at 3.24. It's now approaching 2.45 at the moment. So that's giving me at the best 40 minutes to do a 45 minute walk. I'd better get moving. I was lying in bed last night and I thought I must remember, must remember to bring my 
bring my hat with me because it was going to be a hot one and I needed to put shade on my old head here. Guess what I forgot to bring? Yep, the hat. Oh, here comes an Eve bus, look. Heading in the wrong direction, however. That was it, the 120. Yeah, so it's absolutely scorching here. I think it's the heat bouncing off the road that's really making this hard. Right, what time is it now? A couple of minutes past three, we've got about 20 minutes. While I make it, it's gonna be touch and go, my friends. Touch and go. Right, let's get going. This is very undignified. A YouTuber running for public transport. This shouldn't happen. I should be like a real YouTuber and just phone up an Uber. Unfortunately for a channel of my size, it's always an income versus expenditure thing. And today I can't afford an Uber. Let's see if we can make this train. Well, unfortunately I've missed the train. As it turned out, I missed it by about 10 minutes, but that's because once I realized I had missed it, I took the foot off the pedal. Uh, I now have a 15 minute wait until the next train and that causes a slight problem. Um, I have a plan B, but it's not much of a plan B. It doesn't really deserve to be a plan B, but it's a plan B all the same. That is number seven, Tay Bridge. Notice something, it says Tay Bridge Dundee. That was not photographed in Dundee. It took me a while to work that out. That's in a place called Wormit which is on the Fife side of the River Tay, and that causes a few problems. Now, if I was to catch the next train, which I will be anyway at 4.24, get into Waverley just around about five o'clock, let's say it's gonna take at least an hour and a half, that's half six, close to seven o'clock to get to Wormit, because I have to go to Dundee, then change onto a local bus. Uh, seven o'clock's getting a bit late because I then still have to get back into Dundee to get home. I don't know when the buses operate. I could walk back, which is an interesting idea because I'd have to walk up to uh, the Tay Road Bridge and I believe it is open for pedestrians. Now that would make an interesting video, but I've already walked 10K today and I don't fancy walking anymore. So I think the Tay, Bid Tay Bridge is a fail, <clears throat> which is a bit of a, a bummer. I might actually try and do that because I would like to try and get to that location at some point, but I was looking on uh, Google Street View last night and I think the area is obstructed by trees anyway. So it might've been a total waste of time. So anyway, here we are at North Berwick Railway Station and at least I managed six out of seven. I'm hoping to maybe do another one. It depends on how popular this video has been. If you give me lots of yeses, uh, thumbs up, lots of comments, uh, if it really starts doing well, I'll do another one. I do have an area I'd like to focus on. In fact, there's a couple of lovely areas in Scotland I'd like to focus on. These cards are absolutely brilliant. So if I do get enough feedback, if there is enough interest in it, I might do another one as well. But in the meantime, guys, thanks very much for coming along with me. Six out of seven is not bad, huh? Not bad at all. I'll see you next time.